Hello executives of uh, Tacoma Pre uh, Primary School. Um, this is Arsun from uh, Audio Project, a division of New Use Paving and Building Contractors. Uh, you know, this is the second part of the video, the presentation of uh, this Gabion wall installation uh, on the river embankment. Okay, because uh, you know the weather, the storm water that we experienced on the 10th of October this month, it washed off. Uh, uh, the bank uh, massively it actually sort of uh, moved closer to the fence uh, the erosion process so uh, and you know I noticed also some sort of a landslide uh, it's like the land slid slightly uh, due to the um, uh, force of uh, uh, the damage that you know the storm water caused okay so um, so you know what I'm proposing now is the insulation of the Gabion wall uh, the bank is uh, remarkably high uh, we're looking at six meters, you know. So, you know, for Gabion walls, uh, for them to be like, you know, for the structural stability of the Gabion walls, the base has to be two thirds of the height of the bank that we are going to need to retain. Uh, so, you know, that's actually the structural engineering of a Gabion wall. So, now that's what I've been actually trying to draw. And, um, you know, this is actually sort of my drawing, uh, just like a cross section of, uh, you know, this project. So what I've done is I've just also opened up a spreadsheet just to sort of, you know, um, do some, you know, arithmetic, uh, some calculations. Okay, so basically what I'm trying to present here is, um, is uh, uh, the, the specification of uh, two thirds of the height of the wall. Okay, so now we, uh, you know, uh, we have a uh, six meters of uh, the bank that we're going to retain. So we're going to have about six courses, of course, right? So now, uh, basically, the structure go uh, the way it goes up is actually sort of uh, the first course. Uh, so this is actually sort of, um, you know, I've done my, I put the formulas that you know, two thirds of uh, this is uh, the two thirds of uh, the height, which is six. B eighteen is six B. 18 okay uh six which is actually four meters right so we need the first the best has to be four meters and then um as we build up uh the second course has to be uh you know uh this all right three comma six and then as we build up so uh the the other course has to be three meters and then as we build up as uh, the other one has to be um two comma three meters and one comma six and the last course has to be one meter as a width so that's how it steps up you know so um this so this is what i'm trying to you know present uh, with this uh drawing so uh, we have our uh, four meters here the best so uh we are gonna be laying we're gonna start with the mattress the mattresses so basically this is how we're gonna have to be actually do it we're gonna open up a slightly a trench uh into uh the stream we open up a trench uh, we're going about 300 meters i mean 300 millimeters deep all uh, right we lay the mesh and uh you know there's water there we're gonna have to deal with the water we're gonna have to probably come up the pump that you know if we water is coming on the way to distract us from actually sort of opening up uh, the trench so we're gonna have to sort of uh uh come up with some effective solutions but what you could do ideally uh, you know, we could sort of, you know, open up a trench. We have to sort of come up with a way of actually sort of, uh, you know, blocking the water. But anyway, that is actually going to be up to me as a contractor. I will see the effective way. Okay, but it's not a big deal anyway in advance. Okay, so we open up a trench in, into uh, sort of uh, the river embankment. We're going to have to come up with the measurements that, you know, if we start from the existing bank, we're about to get our four meters. How far into the river basement are we going to go into? right so that's what you're gonna have to do, you know do the site markings uh, prior to the, to the diggings and um and all the other work so basically we open up uh, we dig down uh, uh 300 mules uh, the train wide enough four meters and then these are the gabions that you're gonna study the matrices uh so um, the good thing about the manufacturers we got uh they make uh, a six meter by two meter by um 300 right so uh, what it actually basically means is actually sort of this is the length of uh, the gabion six meters. They actually have them on uh, you know as we speak. So that has a width of two meters and a height of uh, three hundred mm. That is actually thirty centimeter. That is the height of a thirty centimeter ruler, right? That is actually the size of the mattress. 
okay so then we let them we then fuel up and then we actually it's called you know uh, we do the assembling we open up all the diaphragm we open up the lead the front side the back side the lead and then we do um uh all the assembling or then uh, we tie and press as we fill up uh, the you know uh, the gabion with rocks okay uh, and then you know what i just remembered is about the logistical part of it uh, the way the rocks are gonna be sort of dumped because you know yeah we would want to cause a lot of uh, disruptions on the uh with the daily activities of the school so we're gonna have to find ways of actually sort of uh, tipping uh, the the stones uh if it means actually tipping from the bridge we're gonna probably have to do that you know the tipper has to uh, a tipper truck has to you know tip from the uh road ab above the bridge uh the end to cultivate okay uh, anyway let me just uh, proceed with uh, the uh, with the drawings so now um i was here now this so this is gonna be um uh hold on this one i'm sorry it's only gonna be 3,6 3,6 meters and then as we go up this one is gonna be is going to be hold well, on let me go to my spreadsheet but it should be three meters straight let me go to the presentation yeah it should be three meters and then two one comma six and one all right okay so and then uh, when we are here uh, we're probably gonna make it um, two comma three meters and here and here one comma six one comma six meters i know i think i might have done actually a duplicate uh, somewhere down the line so maybe this one is supposed to be Yeah, you know this one has to be here so it means the last one has to be probably half a meter this has to be a meter and probably this one is has to be um half a meter the last course All right so basically yeah that's actually the structure of the whole cabin wall right and then we of course we're gonna have to sort of um uh back fill. this is gonna be gravel actually uh that you're gonna have to back fill. we compact it to maximum density um so let me just quickly uh, highlight that because I, I wouldn't the video to take so long so this is gonna be the backfield gravel all and uh, this is the drainage uh we're gonna have to lay a drain pipe uh this is gonna be an agri drain pipe upvc uh 160 drain pipe um upvc 110 110 um uh, drain pipe all right and uh so we're gonna have to uh, around it we're gonna put uh, some uh, the stones drainage stones 90 millimeter uh drain uh stones uh, okay and um Beading cloth behind this uh, the gabion we're gonna put a beading cloth a geotexture fabric uh, we call that a, also a beading cloth right so yeah um so you know uh, basically this is actually sort of uh, this stream um uh, just about to finish up um this is gonna be the stream level stream um Uh, stream level okay um okay so yeah um i'm just yeah that's it uh you know um so i'm only left with the only like 15 seconds uh before the uh, recording time i wouldn't to record the third video but i wanted to also present this um uh, uh this cover uh you know um uh, you know this is actually the presentation of it uh